Hello there, ha, 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 ha. welcome to this video. I just got home from work and I'm really, really hungry. I want something sweet. So I'm gonna try and do something that I've never done before. Banana pancakes, yeah, kind of sick, I know. Here's all the stuff you want, guys. You want some eggs, a banana, this may be a bit too big to be honest. And you want some vanilla sugar, I guess. I've never done this before, as I just said, but hopefully it's gonna turn out fine. First off, you wanna cut, cut, you wanna open some eggs. You wanna put some eggs into a bowl, a bowl, bucket, basket? I don't know. So, you wanna crack some eggs and put them in here, I guess. Uh, nope. Nope. Come on. Uh, okay, let's use a knife instead. Yeah! There we go. Okay, so you wanna open up the egg, you wanna put it in there. Then you wanna get another egg. The second egg of our recipe. And you wanna crack that as well. Let's just use the knife straight away. There we go. Oh, well. Oh. No, I, the shell cracked too much. No. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't fall. Oh, there we go. We got it. No. Oh, come on. Why? Okay, we're... Uh, take take up the shell that you broke down. This is a very important step of the cooking as you need the shell to spread its enzymes into the eggs. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, take it out now. It's, uh, it's pointy. Oh, and if you have a cat on the table, make sure to lift him down so he doesn't destroy your pancakes because that would be really annoying. Okay, when you have the eggs, what you want to do is you want to grab a fork or anything and you want to stir it around for a bit to make it have that fluffy consistency. So when you've stirred the eggs around a bit, you want to do the fun part. You want to grab your banana. I'm going to cut this in half since it's so huge. But if you have a smaller banana, then go ahead and use your entire banana. After you've uh, cut it or whatever you do, peel it because you don't want any banana peelings in your cakes because that's weird. Cut it in smaller pieces or do whatever you want. Uh, we're actually gonna try and mush this down and I was stupid enough to try and use my knife for this. As you can see that didn't really work out. Uh, <laughs> I mean it sort of worked but it was really weird. So uh, learn from my mistakes kids. Make sure to use something mushy like a, a fork for example. Yeah this should work. Oh, so much easier. Look at this. This is the way to mush your bananas. If you have any other way, then tell me in the comments. I... I don't know. Okay, so when you're done with all the mushing, put the bananas down into the eggs. Make sure you get all of your banana goodness in there. And then go crazy and stir it around. You want to stir it all the way until you can't really... Like, find the banana pieces, I guess? I'm, I mean, I've never done this before, so I'm, I'm just... Pretending that's how you do it? I don't know. No, no, it, it's how you do it. Anyways, you can either use a knife or a, a fork. A knife, that's kind of weird. Or, if you're smart like I was, you can get a, uh, a stirrer. Like, uh, this one? Yeah, this one. Look at this, I'm so smart. This is gonna be way simpler than using a knife, but I mean, yeah, if you only have a knife or uh, a fork, I'm, I'm stupid. If you only have a fork, then use the fork. But yeah, spin this around, stir it until it's like only one big watery mess. <laughs> oh, I'm so, I'm so bad at this commentary stuff. Ah, uh, anyways, you can see here, it's, it's almost, it's almost done. Okay, so when you're done with the stirring, you want to add some vanilla sugar or whatever it's called. I, I don't I don't really know. And you want to use like a tablespoon-ish. If it's really clumpy, you might just need to like, I don't know, destroy the clumps. Is, is clumps a word? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, you want to take like a, uh, a tablespoon of vanilla sugar or something else that is sweet and continue the stirring until you can't really see the sugar in the mixture anymore. Okay, so when everything is done, 
like when you've started for a real long time so it's kind of fluffy and uh, you can't really see any more of the vanilla sugar in it then you can uh, start frying them so uh, first you want to get something to uh, to put it on on the frying pan with I'm gonna use uh, like a big spoon like this th this one yeah this one should work I can get some nice amounts of uh, banana pancakes with this so uh, this is gonna be nice okay so uh, you've started around it's it's kind of like fluffy or well not fluffy but it's it's not as I, I don't know I, yeah fluffy airy uh, I don't know it has a lot of sm like small bubbles and stuff uh, make sure you uh, heat your pan put some oil in and then you can start frying it so look at this we have a table or not a tablespoon a big plastic spoon of pancake mixture and we're gonna put it in the pan it's gonna be really really warm so they're gonna get done fairly fast since they're kind of small but what am I doing right now okay I'm, I'm petting a cat nice stop kidding okay and Okay, so, uh, the- no, fuck. Okay, it's really warm on, uh, on the stove. Make sure you have turned the fan on if you have a fan, I don't know. And if you have a gas stove, I, I don't really know how that works. I, I've never used one of those. We only have electric stoves in, in Sweden, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, um, Warm, warm fire, I guess. Warm flames. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, you want to grab something to uh, to uh, flip the pancakes with. I have this super great spoon, so I'm gonna clean that, and I'm gonna use this. Okay, is our pan. Okay, so our pancake is getting warm now. We have something to flip the pancakes with. And look at this. Look at that. Really, really nice pancake right there. Oh my god, so tasty. Just look at this. Yum. Uh, you can turn down the heat a bit because having it on the max heat is probably overkill. They're really tiny. Like, they're really flat, so they're gonna be done really fast. So yeah, turn it on to the highest heat to make the plate or the plate, the pan warm, and then you can turn it down a bit. Very educational. That I'm, I, mmm, mmm, I'm so smart. Okay, so you can see here when the pancakes start to bubble, that means they're ready to be turned. Because uh, I don't know, that's just how cooking works. I'm, I'm not gonna explain the chemistry behind it, but I, I, it's just a gut feeling. Look at this, it looks so good. Mm -mm. Mm. Just listen to TJ Senpai and I'm, I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know. Look at these pancakes. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm -mm -mm. Here we have some really nice pancakes. That's it for this episode, guys. I'm gonna eat these now. They're probably gonna be really good. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.